Welcome to another 1v1 one -one matchup in the BFME1 online battle arena. This time on the map Last Bridge and the matchup is going to be Rohan vs Isengard. I'm being honest with you, this matchup is going to be super nice for me. Because this map is fantastic for Rohan and not that great for Aizen. So he needs to play it pixel perfect if he wants to have a chance. Is it Christmas? Ah, I met my fan, boys. Been a while, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I really like to be recognized in the BFME community. Um, and it's always great when people like, Oh my god, Jenks, are you playing really? Is it you, you know? I mean, you can see the distance is pretty short. That means my peasants will be there in no time. In this lot of house, if I can get the chance to surround it, should be easily taken down. And then we can use the map, you know. And that's when you when you see this, what I'm doing. Hopefully it can kind of tell you how crazy strong Rohan is at the beginning of the game. And that's not even the optimal map for him, you know, for Rohan. In bigger maps, you can sneak in peasants from every single location. Peasants can do so much work for you. That's kind of un unbelievable. And my hobbit can get cloaked here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So I can micro a bit easier. Hit, run. Okay, it's gonna be a 2v1 situation now. We need to bail. Okay. So now you see me, now you don't. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Hmm. That's pretty aggressive, sir. You know? Like, when you play evil... Hold on a second. Is he try, gonna try to beat rush me? Okay, never mind. When you play evil, you need to understand that your... Lumber mills are more valuable than the enemy farm. So if you have to make a choice between defending your lumber mills or slaughterhouses outside versus destroying the enemy farms, always choose to defend first. Especially against Rohan. Against Gondor maybe it might work out because he has no soldiers. He can get up on the field, you know. But against Rohan, uh, I don't I don't think it's a good idea. Now your lumber mill is unprotected. And let me take his... Lick, lick, I can't even talk. Let me take a look into his eco. And he started with only Uruk Pit. Uh, that's even worse. Uruk Pit Furnace Opening. That's the way to go. So Uruk Pit Furnace Opening. Take your close settlement first. And then rush forward. You don't take the one in the middle. Because you, will, you won't have the money for it. But you can't protect it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like losing this lumber mill is going to be essential for me. I mean killing, destroying it. But it's gonna be super bad for him because he has basically zero resource income now, beside from his citadel, you know. And I was even able to protect my settlement over there. I mean, obviously, I will lose the fight, but it's totally fine. And I can reclaim the settlements whenever I want to. I'm gonna get a peasant also from the farm and just show you the power of Rohan. Okay, I mean, um, we need to move a little bit. There we go. Okay, my Hobbit is gonna hit level 3 here. That's amazing. We are totally controlling the entire um, game. Like evil factions, if you open with a production building and no resource building and you end up losing your settlements, your resource buildings outside, you will be super behind, you know. It's always better to choose the safe way. Maybe this opening can work on a map like Forts of Eisen in which the distance, the travel distance between the two castles is a bit longer. But on this map, on this map it's just too short, you know. Here you can't defend both settlements. It's legit not possible because I will be there super fast. I'm gonna take one, this one first. And always with your first horse, when you know he has no pikemen, which he might have, 
but I want to always um, destroy segments, you know, just to make it, keep him poor. I don't want to give him the chance to get back into the game. And look, uh, he has no pikemen around this location, um, and that's fantastic. And then with your second row here, you can always creep the whole map, no problem. But the first one, if you can, if you know there are no pikemen, or if you think there are no pikemen, always go for the enemy settlements, and then go for creeping. And I'm pretty much do that on repeat. Like the goal here is, he has a Uruk pit level 2, so he will get uh, surely some pikemen upon the field. For that reason, we need to try our best and hardest to unlock the Alvin summon from the spell book. Then all we need is like one push, you know. We have such a huge lead. This one will be a demonstration about what happens if you have a bad start against Rohan. Look, we can basically, you know, keep our, so, um, not soldiers, uh, peasants to kind of track his entire pikeman army. Kind of keep him poor. Oh, he was creeping this one a bit uh, at the behind, but it's okay. It's totally fine. And I want to keep him away from my creep there. I think he's planning to take my creep at the top side. But I won't let this happen, okay? Cash looting a little bit because I'm rusty. And I keep... Basically keep making peasants. If you lose them, it's okay. But the amount of things he needs to invest to take down your peasants is kind of immense, you know? Like, he needs to basically get a Berserker. Oh, look, he's using Warchant. Okay, I want to use this momentum, actually, and go for the creep. And I want to just focus down the creep hardcore, because with the Warchant, his pikemen will be able to take down my peasants. And I don't want him to creep right after. Get some more peasants, get heavy armor first. My eco is all messed up. I believe you, bro. Your start wasn't the greatest, though. I believe you. They are attacking the outpost. Riders of the Mars. We will stand up and head of Rohan. Rohan. Stay sharp. Head of Rohan. Head of the Mars. Ready. Right. I mean, we have almost the power points for the elves too, but I don't think we need. We will need them. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. The battle awaits. They are attacking the outpost. Come, peasants. Now he has Berserkers, that's a different story, but I, you know, I, I can always give my peasants also um, heavy armor and forge plates if I wanted to. And now we go basically in boys. Holy moly. <laughs> Trust me in that one. <laughs> I'm coming for you, bro. I'm sorry, man. Even if you're a fan, you know. I'm gonna still come for you, bro. And while we are rushing his base, use the peasants to do stuff. Oh my god, he has not even a full base. And we have already upgrades, armory, everything, you know? Um, somebody wanted to see me playing this matchup, Rohan against Eisen. I pick always random, and this matchup was a random thing. Maybe next time we are lucky and I get to play Eisen against Rohan. And you can see it from both perspectives. But I'm always trying to um, tell you, GG, my friend. I'm always trying to tell you what he did wrong, you know? Yeah, your start wasn't the greatest. But it's, you know, learning, losing is a learning curve, you know what I mean? You will lose until you win. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be a quick one against my fanboy i like that one actually hopefully you guys enjoyed and it was at least somewhat educational for you the start of the game you know and you know if you enjoyed it you know what to do leave a like subscribe see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out boys